Hey everybody, let's take a look at the uh, new image manipulation features in SeekBeak. So I've got a, a couple of handheld uh, theta shots here, which are obviously a little bit wonky that you can even tell from the screenshots. And what I want to do is I want to non-destructively level these. So you can see this one, we're kind of uh, on a bit of a skewed horizon here. And this is just a little handheld shot, of course. So you can only do so much with that. So I'm going to go into the details area and you'll notice now there's a whole whack of new uh, input options here. So we've moved the start view position from the preference area. So it's now in here and you can manually set your start position where you want the snap to start when people load it. Uh, and there's this also level horizon adjustment, which is new. Um, if you're feeling mathematically inclined, you can always punch in your own values here, but I'm going to highly recommend, and 99.9% .9 of you are usually going to want to just click this little guy here. And what I'm presented with now is this uh, nice little leveling grid on screen, as well as the ability to pan around my image and find basically the pivot point, which is where I want it to shift things. So I'm going to just kind of go around the main horizon level here and I can just let go and then drag this little circle here. And I've got full access to drag and, uh, and align my image here. So I'm going to just kind of level where I feel the horizon is and you can still kind of go around and make subtle adjustments. One nice thing is that if you click and drag, you can get much finer results uh, than if you were just to kind of drag around the circle like this. So the farther you drag out, the finer your, uh, your number can be. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to say set adjustment, save the changes, and I'll close that down. And now we've got a nice level shot uh, where there was not so much leveling before. So that's one example. Let's take one more that's a little bit more extreme. This was done. <laughs> we've, all, we've all seen this before, right? Um, so this was a handheld one done in a cafe. And this is going to take a little bit more effort than the last one. So I'm going to do the same, open up the properties, click on this little icon here to adjust the image level and the horizon. And first of all, I'm going to go to, uh, well, this is, this is probably where it seems the worst. So I'm going to start by pivoting from here, get those lined up. Whoops. And that looks pretty good. And then I can go over here. And you can still see this is a little bit wonky. So I can have another pivot point and I can also pivot this one so it's straighter. And then I can come over here and make sure these are right. I'm looking at the top of the door frame there and that's nice and level. Looking good. Save changes, close that down. Bammo, no more seasickness. So that's how easy it is to non-destructively edit your images uh, using the new SeekBeak leveling function.